Hello YouTube, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to fix this problem with uh, with uh, this uh, USB devices rate setup. Uh, I've been looking for very long on how to make this program work and I haven't seen anybody on YouTube that explained the proper way to make it work. Now I'm currently using um, let's see what Windows version I'm using Oh, okay without uh, okay so this is the version of Windows that I'm using I'm using currently I'm currently using Windows 11 and uh, the thing is this doesn't work with Windows 11 by default what you have to do uh, is download this app called hit USBF you could search for that in uh, Google I'll show you in a minute so this is Google I'm going to look for hit USBF when you download this program you are going to get these files now these files don't work by default uh, you need to know if you're using 64 version of Windows or 86 uh, version of Windows I'm currently using 64 so what you have to do if you're using Windows 8 8.1 10 11 whatever it is you're using you have to copy these files now ignore the uh, patch just go to the driver uh, for test mode on 64 and take the these files copy them and then go to AMD 64 and paste them okay but that's not enough that's not enough when you're done you, uh, this file will not be copied okay so I'm going to get that in a minute so we have three files here but we have more than three here we have five okay so when you're done if you want to make sure you could copy both you could copy these well these ones as well to x86 uh, okay you got you copy them and then you you have to choose one of these three 1000 Hertz 2000 to 4000 4000 to 8000 you have to choose one of these three okay uh, th what this does is just copy this file from here to uh, this directory and the program will use whatever file you have here it will not access any of these it will only access this okay so you have to copy the file manually or you have to use uh, this bad file now if the program is not working for you uh, w when you do this the program should work for you okay now when you copy the files you will not be able to choose uh, 4000 or 8000 kilohertz when you whatever you choose uh, one of them let me show you what I mean here when you open the readme it tells you that you have to have uh, USB 3.0 3.1 3.2 whatever it is okay and you have to have the drivers you have to have the windows these ones are not the things you worry about you just have to plug in your uh, your mouse or your keyboard into a USB 3 usually it's col colored with blue uh, it's a blue USB input so make sure you plug it correctly now after that he says that you have to run these files and then you go to the program you open setup and you install the service how do you install the service um, you basically open the server the program you choose the device you want and you click on filter on service you choose the um, the polling rate now I'm using a PS5 controller the PS5 controller has all these options other things don't have them as you can see uh, this is just a remapper a software called rewast okay so I have it for it but usually I don't okay now when you click install service uh, if it doesn't give you an error, that's fine. But if it does, I'm going to show you what you need to do uh, to get rid of that error. Now, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, what you need to do is this. Um, just a moment. What you have to do to make it work is that you have to use these two options. BC edit, uh, set test signing on, and no integrity checks on. Now I've tried this command, it didn't work. Right now I'm using both of these and they work fine. So this enables test mode and the author of this program talked about test mode. Now when you when you write these, now bear in mind that you have to open CMD, right click and open as administrator and write these things, okay? Okay. Now when you're done, you restart your PC and you install, uh, you install just like he said here. Uh, yeah, run setup, install the service, and then you have to restart your computer. You have to restart your computer if you're working with 4,000 to 8,000 
uh, hertz this will not be effective uh, copying the file or uh, clicking on this will not be effective until you restart okay and you can make sure uh, of what I'm say or of what I say by clicking 62 install service and hitting restart if your mouse feels very very slow that means uh, that it's not active the 4000 uh, kilohertz is not active okay and then after you restart uh, you tick the tick the, uh, tick the box okay and you choose now here it says to you that uh, when you when you click on 1000 hertz you're making 31 as 1000 hertz uh, sorry 1000 hertz driver 31 is just 31 62 is just 30 62 but if you're using 2 or 4000 this is for 2000 or uh, yes 31 is for 2000 and 62 is for 4000 same thing with the 4 to 8000 now when you click restart let's restart in the program the program works uh, should work this just fine if for whatever reason you're working in the program and your mouse doesn't work what you have to do is suppose let me show you suppose my mouse doesn't work right now so I hit shift alt shift alt shift alt shift alt shift alt and this takes me back to the arrows okay now I take it to default and then I hit another shift alt and I reach filter on device I hit space and then tab 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 until I reach install service and then restart and that's going to make my mouse worse at work again okay now bear in mind that this restart is very very essential okay this is the prob the proper way to use this software on Windows 10 this uh, fixed the problems that I had with the program so that's pretty much it this is how you make the software work you have to use test mode uh, because it disables the uh, the driver check. Now, some some PCs work with same when you when you uh, disable the secure boot. I tried that; it didn't work with me. So this is your uh, alternate solution if safe mode doesn't work with you. I hope this makes sense for you and helps a lot of people. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.